This is Days of Thunder from 1990, directed by Tony Scott, and the music was by Hans Zimmer. The cast is Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman, and Robert Duvall. Uh, the film is about in the fast-paced road of NASCAR, a rivalry brews between rookie hotshot Cole Trickle and veteran racer Rowdy Burns when they are both so seriously injured in competition, the former bitter rivals become close friends. The film was good, could have been better, and actually could have been longer. They didn't have a script, which is why I think it could have been better. It was just sometimes it just felt disjointed. And they were making up on up that particular day, wherever the day they were filming. NASCAR driver Greg Sachs did most of the driving for Tom Cruise. Cruise wanted to, but wasn't allowed because of insurance reasons. 35 cars were wrecked throughout the film. All cars had to pass inspection and qualify. I wanted to see more of the relationship between Claire and Cole, and the relationship between Cole and Rowdy. I wanted to see more of Big John. It was weird. It it was odd because at times Cole is dressed kind of weird. It doesn't look like anybody who would be in a race track or a race car driver. It just looks like he walked off the set of the firm or a Mission Impossible set and it doesn't, just doesn't match if that makes any sense. And <laughs> kind of sound really stupid but I don't like Cole's last name. Trickle. I wish that Cole apologized to Claire as well, not just Harry. I love the wheelchair race between Cole and Rowdy. That was really fun funny with the nurses trying to keep up with them. So here there's some spoilers. I know that last one was a little bit of a spoiler, but this may not be a spoiler either. But <laughs> I love the rented car race between Cole and Rowdy and going back and forth between Big John's dinner with some friends talking about rental cars. The rental car race was loosely based on Joe Weatherly and Curtis Turner, who were known to do that. I wanted to see more of Cole's fear of getting back in the race. I just didn't see that. The scene of Harry and his crew eating ice cream actually happened to another ra racer named Benny Barnes. I wanted to see the, the full run of Cole and Harry running to the winter circle and not the screen freezing and going to the credits. To me, Cruz and Rowdy both should have had more serious brain issues. And because Cr Cole is totally fine, but Rowdy has some kind of problem. And then they just kind of leave it there. They never go back to see to say if he had surgery or if he survived. The film was okay. Sometimes though it just felt like nobody wanted to be there and like they weren't totally into it probably because they didn't have a complete script and they were making it up on the day they were filming. It feels like the screenplay writer Robert Town, the director Tony Scott and Tom Cruise just heard a bunch of racing stories and threw a film together. And that's just what it felt like to me. Maybe that's just me. And what did you think?